Okay, welcome everybody. And this is the introduction to the class, Foundations of Research Methods in Psychology. And here I am, Dr. Ashton, and uh, this is me a couple years ago in Florida by the pool. Uh, and first off, this is an online course. And I need to address the question, why online? Why would I take the hardest class in the major, or at least I consider it? Uh, the objective data shows that this is one of the three hardest classes in the major. Uh, the other two are statistics, no big surprise there, and personality theory, which is kind of a surprise. But if I ever advise you, I explain why. But why would I take one of the hardest classes in the major and put it online where it will be harder? Well, the reason is students. Uh, I was teaching research methods uh, Friday afternoons for a couple semesters, and I ran into a lot of students who had finished up everything else in the major except research methods, uh, and uh, they were trying to get it done, and they were also working full time. That's where the Friday afternoon came into play. And they said, oh, my boss would, would let me uh, off early on Friday, so that's set. But then something would come up, traffic or an inventory or a special job at work, and they would miss one or two uh, weeks. And then they'd fall behind, and they'd end up dropping the course or failing. And so I really saw that you know, for some students, getting in to York uh, is the, was the major uh, you know, uh, a detriment to them finishing the major. So that's why I designed this course. This course is really for students who have no other option but to take uh, research methods online. Uh, I have a lot of students who show up in this course who say, well, I'm taking it because it's the only uh, section available. Uh, if that's the case, you may want to rethink. Uh, as I said before, taking this online makes it just a little bit more harder. So if you're not a strong student, why make things harder for yourself when it's already hard? Oh, by the way, when I show you pictures of myself, you can tell how recent they are depending upon how gray my beard is. I figure by now I'm about 95% wizard. So let me give you a brief introduction to myself, William Ashton. Here's me and the Hulk at uh, Comic-Con a couple years ago. Uh, I have a PhD in social psychology. I consider myself a social psychologist. Uh, back in grad school, did research work on the fundamental attribution error, uh, the stigma of mental illness, and gender and social support. Uh, I have a long period of doing some non-academic work in terms of community mental health and uh, uh, community organizing and also community leadership training. That comes in handy in other classes uh, such as IO psychology and organizational psychology. I've been at York since 2003, and I teach uh, social uh, methods, IO, OB, uh, and I've added uh, ad advertising psych to that. I am the coordinator of the research pool, and I was the director of the honors program. Uh, my programmatic research is in attributions of blame and accidents. And recently, I've started looking at fandoms and the psychological consequences of being fans. Uh, recent research has been on uh, Jungian psychology and the Big Lebowski fandom. And I've uh, branched out, and I'm looking at the psychological differences between being an achiever that is a Big Lebowski fan uh, versus being a Trekkie, a Star Trek fan. Uh, here's a picture of me uh, and my wife down in uh, Smoky Mountains. And this is, as you can tell from my beard, a long time ago. So now let me introduce you to the topic of research methods. Uh, research methods is a different course. Uh, and probably it's the most different course you're going to run into in uh, psychology. It's a process course, not a content course. And that's what throws everybody. All the other courses you've taken are content. Abnormal psychology, you study content. That is, what we know about abnormal psychology. In social psychology, you study content, what we know about social psychology. In this course, we're not studying content. We're studying process. That is, 
how do we know what we know in psychology? And that's what this course is about. And uh, that idea is very simple, but students don't understand it, and that causes them to run into problems when we get to the papers. So think about that for a minute, and I'll be coming back to that again and again. Uh, as I said, this is objectively one of the three hardest courses in the major. Uh, that is, this is one of the courses, uh, one of the three courses with the highest F rate and the highest dropout rate in the major. Uh, and it's a challenging course, I admit that. And that would be true anywhere you take it. Research methods is a difficult and challenging course uh, at any uh, college that you would uh, find a psychology major. So that's really nothing new. Uh, this is writing intensive, uh, which makes a lot of sense in terms of what is taught in a uh, research methods course. And also, it's an important course uh, in two ways. First off, to be a, a psychologist, you have to understand how we generate research, how we generate knowledge. And you have to understand the ins and outs of it. And so that's why it's important as a psychologist. As a person, it's important because you're going to have to deal with issues and make decisions based on research the rest of your lives even if you're not a psychologist. Uh, you may have to deal with medical opinions that are life and death for you and uh, decisions that can only be made by looking at the research. Uh, global warming is a very controversial issue. Uh, it's a scientific research issue uh, and uh, by understanding the material in this course, you have a better understanding of the research issues in topics like that also. So let me introduce you now to the process of the course. That is what we're going to do. Uh, this is an online course. Uh, what you're going to need is a computer. You're going to have to have a, a good computer uh, with a fast internet connection. Uh, so I always say that if you can watch YouTube videos and you can uh, watch them without it buffering a whole lot, yeah, you're doing pretty good. Uh, you're going to need the soft skills. Uh, in IO psychology, soft skills are all the skills that get you in the door of your workplace. That is, you need to be organized. You need to be, be able to make a plan and also keep yourself to the plan. Uh, you're going to have to have study skills. Online course means I'm not going to be there in class with you for two and a half hours a week and all the things that I would do for you in class you have to do for yourself and that requires study skills and a place you need to have a place where you can uh, work on your computer unmolested unbothered uh, and uh, you know the computer the family computer next to the TV is really not a good place uh, another issue is how often should you go online well if this was an in-person class uh, you would be expected to be in person in class two and a half hours a week. So possibly I would say that you should be online two and a half hours per week. Uh, it's not going to be that much, uh, but that is giving you a good estimation about how much work you should put into this class. This is something that you can't blow off and then do everything uh, Friday night or Saturday morning. Uh, hopefully you will go online to check on what's going on at least once a day, at least twice a day. I promise you that during this semester, every day I will check online about three times a day, at least. Often it's much more than that. Uh, so you need to be able to, uh, you know, be able to work online. In general, the deadlines for this course are going to be midweek and end of week. Uh, and so, therefore, what you'll need is to have time to get online and check how things are going before the midweek deadline, and then to get online and check how things are going and respond before the end of week deadline. And remember, third day of the semester is the last day to drop with a 100% refund. Uh, keep that in mind. A lot of students, or at least some students, are waiting to get into this course. Uh, if you would rather wait and take this class in person, I would strongly encourage you to do that and give up that space for other people. Uh, here's our textbook, a uh, good textbook with short, easy chapters.
up oh, there's me and my two dogs, Rocky uh, on my right and Floss on my left. Uh, again, from the beard color. You can tell this is a while ago. Uh, here are the grades, and this is also in the syllabus. Uh, one thing you should notice is that nothing really has a high point value. And so that means that uh, on one hand, you can kind of miss something or screw up on one thing, and it's not going to strongly affect your course grade. On the other hand, there's going to be a lot of things that are important. And again, given that this is a process course, given that this is a, a writing intensive course, uh, this grade breakdown makes a lot of sense. That is, we're going to be doing a lot of things in process of the final project, and we're going to be doing a lot of writing and a lot of reviewing of writing. The main assignment for the course is the literature review. Uh, you're going to write a 15 to 20 page or 25 page literature review in psychology. You're going to review a research topic, uh, which is a current topic in psychology. Uh, this is not a topic or term paper. Uh, again, we get back to the idea of uh, a content course, abnormal psychology, would ask you to write a topic or a term paper. That is, what do we know about PTSD? That's a content paper. We're going to be writing a research paper, so the question is, how do we know what we know about PTSD? And that's a different type of paper altogether. And, of course, I'm going to be going into this in great detail during the course. I'd like you to uh, review about 10 research articles, and you need to draw theoretical and methodological conclusions about uh, the articles you review. And again, this gets to the idea of process, in that in a topic paper for another course, you would draw conclusions about the findings of research studies on PTSD. So you want to conclude, what do we know about PTSD? In this course, you're going to be drawing conclusions about uh, how do we know this? Uh, what methodological uh, innovations have been used? What uh, you know, methods? What samples? what procedures have been used. So you're going to be focusing on that. Uh, to get ready for that big final assignment, we're going to be doing preliminary assignments. Uh, these preliminary assignments are some basic ones, such as how to work online. Uh, we're going to spend the first week learning how to work online. Uh, then we're going to do some reinforcement assignments that reinforce ideas that you should know in psychology. These assignments usually involve watching a lecture a video lecture and then taking a quiz. The good thing is uh, I give you many chances to take the quiz. After you do a quiz you get feedback from Blackboard about what you did wrong and how to do it better and then you can take it again and I'll only use your highest grade. Uh, we're going to uh, you know look at a student literature review as a, an example review and review that ourselves and then we're going to do some basic writing about a research study uh, as a group to learn how to uh, start to do that. And then we have preparatory assignments for the literature review itself. I'm going to ask you in a couple of weeks to give me a working topic. Uh, I'm going to ask you to give me uh, a draft of the body of your paper. I'm going to ask you for a draft of your conclusions. Then much farther ahead in the semester, I'll ask for the first draft of the literature review. Uh, uh, then I'll ask you to do peer reviews for many of these assignments. And then finally, we have exams. Uh, we're going to have three exams, uh, about 40 multiple choice questions. The questions will be available for study before the exam. Uh, and they're only about the, mainly about the textbook, with some minor changes. And that's noted in the calendar. And you'll have three days to do the exam. Uh, and you can get two attempts and I'll only grade the highest uh, attempt. There's Floss again. So that's it for the welcome to the class. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, if you have general questions about the class, about the textbook, about the assignment, about whatever, uh, go to the discussion board and go to the online office hours 
first look to see if somebody else has asked it and I've answered that question. If not, go ahead and ask it. Uh, if you have questions about uh, personal matters or private things such as your grades or a problem with doing an assignment and getting it in on time, mainly because of your schedule, then you should send me an email about that. Alright, and so I'll see you online. Bye-bye.